There's an interesting fact about laws in this country. We have a lot of them. We have laws against murder, rape, theft. We even have laws against illegal immigration. <laughs> and now some of these laws our government chooses not to enforce. But bottom line is we have tons of laws on the books. But the interesting fact is this. They don't work at stopping whatever actions they're prohibiting. It's just a fact of our existence. Now, let me say this. We need laws. I'm all in favor of laws. We're a nation of laws. Our justice system is based on laws. I mean, when someone breaks a law, it is the law that gives us the process by which to try them in a fair way, you know, jury of their peers, the whole thing, and then to render punishment in the event they're guilty. You know how that works? It's a great, great system. So we need laws. But one thing laws cannot do is change a person's heart. So if you have in your heart to go kill your neighbor, you know, no one's think, thinking, oh, you know, there's a statute against that, so I think I'll pass. No, of course not. So I, I moan at all the people who are screaming at the politicians to pass, you know, ban the AR-15, ban the bump stocks, change the number of bullets that can be held on the clip, on and on and on. You can pass all these laws. It will not stop the next shooter. He's already armed and ready to go. And even if you did pass the laws, it won't change a thing because it's a matter of the heart. Can we never learn any lessons? Do you remember prohibition back in the 20s? I mean, alcoholism was just decimating our country, especially families. And so a, a movement led by women went to politicians screaming just as loud. They have to do something. They have to pass some laws. And they did. They literally passed an amendment to the Constitution that prohibited, banned the use and sale of alcohol. Did it work to save lives? Well, no. Actually, the situation was worse. There were more alcoholics. There were more deaths related to alcohol and the sale and use of it because a black market formed you know, you got the Al Capone and the Moonshiners go through the list. And so they had to repeal it because not only did it not work, things got worse. Well, how can that be? Because they passed laws. Please, my friends, we need to discuss these mass shootings. We need different plans of actions, and we've got to figure out ways to stop this. Passing laws or taxes ain't going to do it.